Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wynette and you are tuned into Cooking with Win. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make Liberian rice bread. Liberian rice bread can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's up to you whenever you want to have it. No judgment, okay? So I'm going to be doubling the recipe, but if you want to use half of the recipe, you're just going to need one box of cream of rice. I'll be using 12 ripe banana. You want to make sure your banana is super ripe very soft closer to being overripe and i'll be using cream of rice you need to make sure you get the one that said cream of rice not cream of wheat so i'm gonna be using two cream of rice two teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of baking powder one cup of sugar and you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt you're gonna need two teaspoon of nutmeg ground nutmeg four eggs two teaspoons of vanilla extra. You're gonna need three cups of milk. And you're gonna need four teaspoons of ginger. I'll be using one, one third cup of oil. If you're gonna be using half of the recipe, you just wanna use two third cup of oil. This is the ingredient you're gonna need for your rice bread. Once you have all your ingredients ready, you just wanna get started on dry ingredients. Once you have all your dry ingredients in the bowl together, you can move to your um, wet ingredient. I'm gonna be using this to mix my dry ingredients. So you want to get your your cream of rice added to the pan. I need two teaspoons of baking soda. I have one teaspoon here, and I have my baking soda. One, two. And I will need one teaspoon baking powder. So I need one cup of sugar. The reason why I'm using one cup of sugar with two boxes of cream of rice because the banana is sweet, all right? If you add a lot of sugar in your rice bread and you add a banana, it's gonna be very sweet. And I don't like my rice bread too sweet. But if you like your rice bread too sweet, you can go ahead and use two cup of sugar in this. So I have one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. I need two teaspoon of nutmeg. One, two. Now just mix them together. So once you're done mixing your dry ingredients, set this aside and move over to your wet ingredients. You just wanna peel your banana. If you're gonna be using small banana, you wanna use 12. But if you have large banana, like the big ones, you just wanna use about 10 of it. But I like a lot of banana in my rice bread, so that's why I'm using 12. I'll be using my potato masher to mash my banana. You can use your potato masher to mash your banana, or you can use your food processor with your milk and just blend it together. You want to get it as smooth as possible like you don't want to have big chunks of banana in it do not forget to turn your stove on so it can be heating up you want to turn your stove on to 350 degrees you see the chunks of the banana that's exactly how you want your banana to look once you're done blending your banana go ahead and add your vanilla extra i need two teaspoons of vanilla extra your oil I have three cups of milk I'm gonna just add it to this you also need to add your egg so I'll just crack my egg open and put it in here add your egg to a bowl or a cup and whisk it separately before adding it to this because if you crack your egg directly over this if by any mistake you have an eggshell falling in it, you're not going to see it. But if you crack it in a bowl or in a cup separately before adding it to this, if eggshell happens to fall in it, you can always see the eggshell. So once you crack your egg, you just want to give it a whisk. Once you're done whisking your egg, you can add it to your wet ingredient. I will set this aside and get my ginger ready. So I have my box grater that I'm going to be using this side of the grater to grate my ginger. And I'm just going to get a plate and set it over it so that when I grate my ginger, it can fall into the plate. 
so you can either use your knife to peel the skin off of the ginger or you can use the back of the spoon and just peel your ginger so once you're done peeling your ginger you just want to grit your ginger I need four teaspoons of ginger I just press like one two three and four everything is mixed in here I have the egg the banana the vanilla extra the milk the oil and the ginger so you just want to stir it and mix it all in together so I have the dry ingredients and I have the wet ingredients the next step is to mix your wet ingredient with your dry ingredients so that's what we're about to do here I'm gonna just make a well in the middle and pour my wet ingredient in slowly and like keep mixing You can either use your spoon or you can use your um, whisk, whichever works best for you. I can pour everything in. Try not to have any lumps in your batter. I'll be using a large aluminum foil pan to bake mine because I doubled the recipe and I I want to give it like space for them to bake evenly. So I'm going to set this aside and get my baking pan ready. You can use a cooking spray to grease the pan or you can use oil to grease the pan. I have my non-stick cooking spray. I just want to spray everywhere like the sides and the bottom. You want to slowly pour your batter in your pan. Once you have it in the pan, you, you want to take it to your oven and bake it for 45 minutes. During the 45 minutes, you also want to keep an eye to make sure it's not burning. And you also want to use the toothpick method. You want to poke the toothpick in the middle of the pan. If it comes out clean, then your bread is ready. So let's take this to the oven. So you want to get a toothpick and you want to poke the middle of the bread. When the toothpick comes out clean, that means your bread is ready. So you can tell my bread is ready. This is how it's going to look once it's ready. I just cut a piece for you guys to see. So you, you want your bread to be golden brown on the bottom and the sides. And you want the top to be golden brown as well. This is how your rest bread gonna look. But yes guys, this concludes the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Do not forget to like, share, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. I hope you guys try out this recipe. It's different from your regular banana bread. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.